Hello, this is a different creature. If you like my video, please subscribe and the thumbs up. Thank you. So, the topic for today that I decided I wanted to do would be online. Basically, in general, it would be online relationships and online friends. Where to draw the boundaries and where to really think about how important things are. Now, um... I have many online friends. I'll admit that. I mean, I'm not. I have. I have two different lives. I have an online life, and then I have a real life that's here where I live. My internet life consists of um, friends that are more around to my liking, that are artsy, that are anime, manga, that are really cool, and then my real life friends are more of getting it down real, talking about real life things, stuff like that, that I usually don't talk about with my online friends. I don't like to drag my real drama into my online drama, if that makes any sense. Now, some of my online friends I really, really, really love. I adore them completely. They help me out a ton. Um, uh, Bisu, ZV, wait, ZV and Bisu are the same person. Uh, Bisu, she really helped me out with drawing as well as my friend Yoko and my friend um, Neri. But Neri is one of my real friends that got me into my online life for Skype and stuff. Um, I really do adore my online friends. Some of them, though, um, is where I had to do trial and error and I had to learn lessons. Let's, for, um, for instance, um, I had this online friend for a long time, and I really don't know what happened. We just cut our bonds, and it really, it, ma it really made me wonder. You know, you said that I was important to you, blah blah blah, but at the same time, you really don't even care that I exist anymore. You really have to put the boundary. Another example of losing a friendship would be someone who is um. what's that term I'm looking for it would really be a person who is um, douchey towards the end of <laughs> towards the end of the friendship well where they just completely act completely different and you you keep asking them what happened to you what why are you acting so different you know and then they really have no response and it really hurts because you were basically putting on a fake person. I don't do that. I'm 100% real in both my lives. I just don't drag drama with each other into each other. I'd rather keep one life in one life. And boundaries. How it's supposed to be. Um, but the online friends that I have right now, I absolutely adore. I love them. Um, I really, really, really am grateful for them, that I actually have them, and everything is so, they're so much fun, um, I really do learn a lot of stuff from them. For online relationships, let's all be real, some of them can work out, and then some of them completely fall under. I don't care what anyone says. I have seen so many of these things fail I myself have done that and I'm sad to say that I have I really shouldn't put myself in that situation but it really has helped me um, grow as a person and make better life decisions as far as trusting people and seeing how people really are because you can be one person online and then be a completely different person offline like, that's, that's what I'm saying Two-Faced is about, basically. And any person can do that, sadly. You can never trust a person. You don't know, you never know what they're doing. You don't know their schedule. You don't know their life. So they can be off cheating on you. They can be using you as a little decoy. They can be 
using you to for their sexual desires and they can still be in a relationship while doing all of this for one so that's where people usually draw the line even if you're in the same state it's still hard i've i've known people who lived in the same city over and it was just ridiculous they um decided to um be kind of like a womanizer kind of yeah and that really hurt my friend but you know they said oh i learned my lesson i should have really not done online relationship i should have listened to you blah 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 i'm like i know you should have but i guess you can only learn by actually doing it that's how most people learn that's how i learned that's how everyone learns um so yeah you really um people really need to open their eyes and see people who for they really are because i'm pretty sure that would help everyone especially you really shouldn't even turn to online dating in my opinion unless they're in the same city as you don't do it because it can get really hectic it can get really frustrating you can get really stressful especially if you have a school life especially if you have a work life while having a school life or having one in between or one or the other it can get really stressful and hectic and you just don't know what to do and therefore it ends the entire thing so before you actually get in a relationship please think of the consequences and think of what you're gonna have to go through what you're gonna have to do because you're gonna have to be online every day for this person you're gonna have to be there every day for this person you have to make sure this person doesn't lose interest for you and it's really difficult to actually do that with a person you barely know that's online you know you don't have that grip of touching them you don't you can't physically kiss them you can't physically hug them you can't physically hold them you can't physically be there for them and it really gets to you and eventually they just get tired of it and some people are one of the physical more physical relationships and then some people are the mental aspect of the relationship where, oh, I have someone that loves me, blah, blah, blah. That's the mental aspect. And then the physical aspect is, oh, I want you to be here so I can hold you, I can kiss you, blah, 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 blah. All of that, you know? So, I hope that this video helps some people that are in the situation of online relationship that's starting to go bad or starting to, you know, get online friends that are acting different stuff like that if your online friends start acting different please try to talk to them and if they're not understanding and if they're not um open about the subject then i think you should really highly try to drop them because that's one less thing in your life you need to not worry about because you need to worry about yourself before you start worrying about someone who's halfway across the universe that's being a douchebag to you Okay, so, yeah, thumbs up, subscribe, um, share my link around if you like the video, comment any things that you want me to talk about. Um, this was given by one of my friends. They said, oh, talk about online stuff since you're really good about that. And I was like, okay. So, yeah, um, I'll be uploading more videos today. I'm doing a lot of videos right now because there's no one in my house, and thank God... Well, my parents are here, but they're in their room. Usually, I have my brother and my sister and my niece here, and it just gets hectic. So, I'm glad I can do videos right now. So, yeah, thanks for watching.